Hey guys, James here with MerchantData.com, and today I'm going to be going over a recently released HubSpot feature, and that is the question bank for customer surveys. So HubSpot now allows users to select previously used survey questions from a question bank to easily build a custom survey. To do so, navigate to the service dropdown and select feedback surveys. And in the top left, click on create survey and choose your survey template as well as your delivery method. And once you get to the builder, you'll see on the left, there's this section for previously used questions. And this will allow you to choose from a variety of past questions from, from prior surveys. And this makes it a lot faster and easier to create updated surveys or simply reuse old questions from prior surveys. <laughs> That's all for now, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, James here with MajorData.com, and today I'm going to be going over a recently released HubSpot feature for copying couple functionality on pages. So CMS developers can now break down sections in the page editor and copy the Hubble that gets generated from that section to use as a head start in building their own custom sections. Now I can't show you myself, but I can show you HubSpot's detailed product page. So for how does it work? Navigate to the landing page or website page editors, then add developer mode equals true to the end of the editor's URL. Scaffold out your section, click on the drop down of the section toolbar and select copy as Hubble. And the Hubble for that section will be added to your, to your clipboard and ready to paste, including module and layout data. So this allows developers to quickly build the general layout of the section they want to create by copying that Hubble, giving them a time-saving head start on their section. And that way they can focus their time and effort on more important section customizations. That's all for now, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, James here with MergerData.com, and today I'm gonna to be going over a recently released HubSpot feature for embedded attribution reporting in campaigns. The new attribution tab gives users an incredibly detailed breakdown of the part each individual asset or interaction played, whether that's generating new contacts, creating new deals, or driving revenue for the business. All you have to do is navigate to campaigns in the marketing dropdown, select the campaign, and navigate to the attribution tab. As you'll see me do right here, this is the new attribution tab right here. And here you can view embedded reports, stack attribution models to gain a broad overview of the impact your campaign has had on your business, including the ability to drill into specific data points. You can also export reports by going to actions, the drop down, and save report. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, James here with MerchantData.com, and today I'm going to be going over another recently released HubSpot feature, and this one is for user and team partitioning for HubDB tables. So if you're unfamiliar with HubDB, it's essentially a way to store relational data in tables. It's pretty much like Microsoft Excel, but for HubSpot. Well, now users can assign HubDB tables to specific users and teams so that only they can access it. This helps to eliminate clutter and allow users to focus only on information that's the most useful or important to them. It's especially useful as it helps to streamline your team's access and more effectively manage your dynamic content. And you do so by navigating to your HubDB, clicking the actions drop down, and going to assign user and teams. And instead of having available to everyone selected, you select users and teams who can edit, and you can go back and forth between which users and teams you want to see and view and edit which tables. <laughs> that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, James here with MerchantData.com, and today I'm going to be going over a recently released HubSpot feature for scheduled workflow triggers. So typically, workflows are triggered whenever a record meets a specific criteria. But now, you can automate your workflows, which is especially useful for things like data cleanup, team reminders, and so on. And this saves your business a ton of time and effort. So to schedule new workflows, simply create a workflow and navigate to the schedule option. Simple and easy. <laughs> That's all for now, and thanks for watching.